Disability Rights Pennsylvania presents Your Questions About Guardianship Answered. Daryl Holtz, an advocate, and Alicia Mancini Dewar, a staff attorney, speak over video chat. So, uh, so if, if someone has uh, an intellectual disability and live in a group home and there is no other family to make decisions for them, what happens then? So your question does come up. Some people think, well, someone has to be a guardian because if nobody's a guardian, who's going to make decisions for my loved one when no one else is there, right? right. Um, and um, there is a law. It's in Section 4417C, the Pennsylvania Mental Health and Intellectual Disability Act. <clears throat> um, I wanted to get it right because I wanted to make sure, you know, in case anyone wants to refer to it. But... It allows for um, the directors of facilities where disabled people live to make decisions about elective surgery. Um, the caveat is that two doctors who aren't associated with the facility have to determine that it's necessary. So, you know, you have a person living in a group home. They don't have any substitute decision makers who can make decisions for them. They need bile duct surgery. I don't know. Mm -hmm. As long as there's two doctors that aren't directly associated with that group home who say that it needs to be done, then the, then, uh, the director of that group home can authorize for that surgery to be done. This video is for general informational purposes only. Nothing in this video should be construed as legal advice. If you would like more information, call 1-800-692-7443 or go to disabilityrightspa.org. And please watch the next video.